Hello guys, I hope you are well. To my short hair ladies, we start here with a two weeks old mini twist style. I always wear a shower cap before this take down process to help reduce unnecessary tangles. I've realized when these mini twists get old and dry, I always end up with a lot more entanglement, therefore hair breakage. So I'd rather play it safe here. <laughs> As you can see here, I start from the back of my head, which is the part that tends to get dirty quickly when I wear plates or twists for an extended period of time. On the unravel process now. Each leg of the single strand twist is split in two or three distinct sections from the root to the ends. Gently, ladies, take your time. It's not a race, it's a marathon. <laughs> Fast forward, this is the outcome so far. I love it already. <laughs> Notice how I stretch the twist first before unraveling it. To avoid knots, I always hold the ends to get a better control while pulling each leg before the split. Another tip here is to keep the kinks somewhat defined some of the legs will have to be left intact. No separation, no split, yeah. So the curly ends pop out more in this kinky texture afro. You will see what I mean further in the video, no worries. In the meanwhile, I keep on splitting some more. I use the clip to hold the unruly parts. I need to see what I'm doing, you know? And yes, there's a mirror down there. Mm -hmm. This mini twist out process might seem tedious on camera to some, but in real life is literally pretty fast. Once you get used to it, of course. <laughs> I use an Afro pick to gently fluff only my roots as I go. This is to ensure to not disturb the coil ends and maintain that definition freshly created in place. I then proceed to secure the section with a clip, which is also gonna, you know, keep and help keeping it stretch. I repeat this exact same process on the other side of my head. See how dirty the back of my head tends to get? Yeah. I literally use castor oil to help with the slip. I keep saying we are trying to stay away from breakage, so every hair strand counts. <laughs> how do you deal with this kind of dirty knots, ladies, when this happened to you? Let me know down below. This entire process took me about 15 minutes or so, only due to me recording, you know, stopping, recording again, making sure you guys can see all the filming shenanigans. Otherwise, it's pretty quick. Making mini twists, on the other hand, eh, could be time consuming. Even on shorter hair, you'll be surprised. But taking them down is usually fast and easy. Trust me. Due to the length of my hair on this video, to define my kinks, my twists have a need to be mini and tight. With my longer hair, I can get away with medium-sized twists. Whether they're loose or tight, my curls will still remain defined. I actually have a video on this channel showing how to effortlessly achieve an afro style on medium length 4C hair. So go view it if you haven't yet. Link above. I right, let's speed up this process because I value your time and I know for a fact you are not going to spend it on my video. <laughs> I know you like gas stuff to do. <laughs> so sorry guys, as I'm filming with natural light, it kept shifting, plus it was getting dark anyway. <sighs> sorry. Sorry for the blurry part. I hope you can still see something out of this. <laughs> 
notice how I insist on fluffing my roots and not my ends. This is actually the secret to move this hairstyle, to be honest. I've always been team volume than team definition. What about you, girl? All I know is I receive tons of compliments when it comes to this hairstyle. A lot of people even think my hair is curled. You might not see it on the camera, but yeah. It's that good. <laughs> Look at this definition, honey. Ooh, love it. <laughs> this is how I define my curls on my short, fussy, natural hair. How do you like it? Would you try it? Girl, if you found this convincing, hit the like button and watch all the related content on my channel. I do have other short, fussy, natural hair content here, especially how to detangle my hair and uh, i'm probably gonna have to upload more if you guys are interested subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content more short for c natural hair content i end up layering some castor oil on my edges to keep my hairline soft under my bonnet for the next day Hey guys, what's up, what's up? So this is how my hair looks like. This is actually the next day. I didn't end up doing anything to my hair. I just threw a bonnet and I went out. So I wanted to show you how it looks like the next day. So that's how it looks like. I get a lot of questions. A lot of people ask me about what I'm putting on my hair and how I achieve the curls, but this is a twist out. I'm not doing anything like I showed you. I just take it out and I try to separate. Mind you, I'm low density hair team. That means when my hair is braided, you can see my scalp. So it looks like my hair is thin, but when it's out with heat getting freezier, it gives the illusion of the volume. So yeah, it looks like I have like a lot of hair on my head, <laughs> which is actually funny to me because in twists, you think my hair is not big or huge. I guess this is the advantage of having kinky hair. This is my blessing. It just gets freezier and the freezier it gets, it gets bigger. So that's why I actually love my hair frizzy. Unlike a lot of my natural hair fellow, they don't like it much. Me, I love when my hair gets frizzier because it gives my hair the illusion of it being bigger. To keep all this stretch, what I do before going to bed, I just hold it like that. That's the best way for me to keep it stretched, this area. I could have done it on the other side. It actually gives me headache since he applies so much tension on this area and I don't want it because remember I'm still trying to grow my hairline mind you throughout the week it's going to shrink I'm not in the team trying to stretch it so I don't sleep with any bending method like uh, I can see a lot of sisters doing out here on YouTube I don't do any of that which is actually what you should do if you expect your hair to look and stay this stretch because naturally kinky hair shrinks so when I use my uh, bonnet my handy dandy bonnet before I go there I just put it like that and that's it and what I love to do I love to keep this area stretch so that it gives the illusion I have like a fake bend you know so it looks like a bit crazier here I love it like that I think it looks sexier that way so that's all I do and throughout the week, I'm going to spritz my hair with water, a little bit of uh, oil. And I just do this, you know, try to make sure it's separated. You know, all the twists, I make sure they stay and remain separated. Because the problem is if you leave them out for too long and they start like matting up, that'll be a problem later on when you want to wash your hair or to take your style down. So I spritz my hair with moisture, means water, and that's about it. So that's how I wear my hair. I can wear my hair like this for a whole week or two weeks or even three weeks. I don't really care about it looking stretched. Like I told you, at some point it's going to shrink back up and I still like it like that. I know outside people will come to me and ask me how I did this. When I tell them it's twist out, they don't want to believe me. So now you saw it. There's no secret. I'm not doing much more than that. I told you no more braids, no more wigs, no more wig caps, no more anything. Swooping gels down and on my hairline i leave my hair out okay guys i hope you like the video follow me on all my social media platforms instagram 
and here on youtube subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so every time i post a video you guys are informed that i've posted one okay guys see you and remember when this kinky hair journey together we are going to grow these kinks okay all right <laughs> take care of your family bye